My name is Lilian Okibe. Welcome to my channel. If you have naturally curly or kinky hair, then shrinkage is not new to you. As much as we all know that it is one of the signs of healthy hair, shrinkage has a very bad reputation in the natural hair community. Many people believe that the kinkier your hair, the more damage you will cause if you let it shrink. And I totally understand because for the longest time, I also believed this. Recently, I began to explore the possibilities of wearing my hair shrinking without causing damage and I have come to realize that shrinkage does not automatically mean knots and tangles. I have since shown you guys how to safely shrink fussy hair, how to care for shrunken hair, how to wash shrunken hair and how to safely stretch your hair after wearing it shrunken for a while. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to safely transition from a shrunken afro to a different hairstyle without washing your hair. So get your popcorn, assume a comfortable position and let's get into it. So I'm starting on a 4 days old wash and go. Um, I just refreshed the wash and go with water and shea butter. So that's why you see some whitey stuff on my hair. That is shea butter. I did not work it in properly. I was going to wear this wash and go for another day. That's why I refreshed it. But I ended up changing my mind. So now I'm switching to a new hairstyle. So the first thing I do is go into the shower or sink and get my hair soaking, soaking wet. I basically just rinse off my hair um just to get it wet to make sure that every strand of my hair is drenched with water you can use a spray bottle for this but i find that using a shower head or a tap just makes it so much faster so that's why i chose to do that um so after wetting my head next thing i do is start my styling process so i divide my hair into sections and then i take some shea butter as you guys saw earlier i always use shea butter applying shea butter on your hair just helps to make um the tang easier it helps to elongate the ends of your hair that are already previously coiled in the shrunken slash wash and go state so that makes it so much easier for you to detangle without causing breakage so i apply the shea butter focusing mainly on my ends and then i gently work my way up to the rest of the hair as I apply the shea butter I gently try to pull my ends to elongate it and then I also um, go ahead to separate my hair from the clumps that it previously was in the wash and go state this is all I do to detangle my hair and it this takes <laughs> for each small section this takes like nothing more than two to three minutes uh, and that's why getting your hair drenching wet is very important when your hair is wet the water kind of kind of weighs your hair down like it kind it also kind of makes it easier for you to remove shed hairs and for your hair to be more elongated and that makes the um, detangling a lot easier so that's why I always recommend when you do when you shrink your hair you need your hair to be wet when you do it like it's a lot easier so that your hair stays moisturized longer throughout the period that you're going to wear your hair shrunken and also when you are undoing the shrinkage it's also very important to get your hair soaking wet because that will just make um the process a lot easier um as you guys must have noticed i don't know if you have noticed i do not apply shea butter on my scalp and that's because i usually i use jamaican black, black castor oil and i apply that on my scalp then shea butter on like mainly on, mainly on my ends and then the hair shaft um i find that applying an oil like jamaican black castor oil that has a texture that is very similar to the natural sebum of my scalp is just a lot easier to use because it doesn't solidify after a while unlike shea butter that kind of solidifies when um the atmosphere is cold um i usually do not have any problems when shea butter gets to my scalp like in the earlier stages of my hair journey i used to use shea butter on my scalp too but i i just want to let you know that if you if you are someone that experiences itchiness when you use shea butter then i highly recommend that you ap you avoid applying it on your scalp to prevent that and if you must apply shea butter on your scalp make sure that you do not just apply and go away you work it in massage into your scalp such that it melts and becomes liquidy Another benefit of getting your hair soaking wet or like rinsing it with water um, when you're transitioning from a shrunken afro to another hairstyle is that if you use gel for the wash and go like for doing your hair before it became shrunken um, wetting your hair or rinsing it off kind of helps to remove the excess gel that helps to remove the excess crunchiness aka dryness that gel usually um, gives to the hair and that makes it easier for you to manipulate such that you do not break your hair as you're moving to a new hairstyle also getting your hair soaking wet even if you don't want to rinse out all the gel 
even if you do not succeed in rinsing out all the gel you are still going to have some gel in your hair and the water will help to activate the gel such that it gives a good new base of liquidy gel that will be a good base for your new hairstyle for this particular wash and go i actually did it with gel and then on like the second day of the wash and go i did a water rinse that i just rinsed my whole hair so i rinsed out the gel and then i refreshed um the wash and go with just shea butter so <clears throat> right now I, ha I basically have no gel in my hair i have just shea butter so this is how much hair i lost after doing all my hair you can see how tiny 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 it is i'm usually very excited whenever i do my hair and i do not lose so much hair because that just shows that i have a higher chance of having more hair on my head um so um this is the finished look um you can see how juicy my hair looks even though i did not wash my hair so like this is a total 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 plus and i'm just really really happy and pleased with my results so with that we come to the end of this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you so so much for watching see you in my next video